I acknowledge the traditional owners, the Bunurong Bunurong people of the Kulin Nations, and as the traditional custodians of these lands and waters. I was contacted by a community member who was concerned about graffiti on an NBN node and I contacted NBN to see whether there was some way we could improve the aesthetics with and promote local artists by putting artwork on the nodes. Um, I was really happy to be invited to be a part of this project. I think it's a great initiative to um, beautify something that um, I guess people would kind of walk past normally so it gives them a time to kind of stop and look and to connect and you know to connect with an artist's artwork and story I think is just priceless. A beautiful collaboration was born between the MBN Co and the Mornington Peninsula Shire. Uh, the Shire was able to use their reconciliation action plan, their arts and culture plan and to bring all of our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander groups together to create the most amazing art project. The NBN Node project has been a wonderful collaboration between NBN and the Mornington Peninsula Shire, but ultimately it's about how it's connected the Aboriginal community, the Aboriginal groups that came together to help with this project. It was fully endorsed by the traditional owners, the Bunurong people. Um, it's been really wonderful to develop a strong partnership with NBN and work with six local Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander organisations across the peninsula to create a collection of Aboriginal artworks and uh, provide the opportunity to share their stories through their art on 16 nodes across the peninsula. The fibre to the node cabinets that we have deployed across Australia are critical enablers in connecting Australia to the NBN. And it is really great to see these cabinets also connect to our First Peoples history and culture through the peninsula. So where we are standing here today, this is my favourite place on the Mornington Peninsula. This is the Divide, just up from 16's Beach. I've been coming here since I was 18 years old, so I've been coming here for a long time. Traditionally, I come here for meditation. I do a lot of healings here. Anybody has a bad problem, I teach them, I teach them about um, release of stress, depression, anxiety, and I bring them down here. It's always a healing place. I was told about this place when I was a young man by an amazing auntie. She told me the spirit that lives here. Me and him have become friends over the years. The design that I've used is Grandfather Sun. I have a couple of sun, different sun designs. I have moon designs and I have earth designs. And all of them, I try to put the spirit of the sun in it. So we call our sun Grandfather. So what I put in the, in the design, you can see the beams coming out of the sun. They're like his arms that are coming out and giving us a big hug and warmth. They're giving us a feeling of full of positive energy. That's what he does. So all those designs, and you'll see the animal tracks and that around her as well in camps. Well, that's the sun. Grandfather shines down on all those animals and all those creatures in our camps and gives us all positive energies. The plants, the animals, and us, us the children of Bunjil as well. Gives us all positive energy. So those beams are the big arms reaching out and giving us a big hug. We recently launched NBN's Fort Reconciliation Action Plan, or RAP, on the 10th of November as a part of the delayed NAIDOC week celebrations. And it brings to life NBN's First Peoples strategy and our commitment to our First Peoples and driving internal reconciliation. And uh, maybe we'll learn a little bit more about um, the cultural aspects of this area. I can't wait to see it all. <laughs> I'm a Mornington Peninsula resident, so to be traveling up and down uh, the peninsula tidying up the town a little bit I guess, um, covering up some of the local street art with some actual indigenous genuine artwork. It's been really good seeing the response from the local community too, a lot of interested people coming up asking us uh, who's responsible for all the artwork and uh, they've been scanning the QR codes and um, yeah, it's yeah, been fantastic to be a part of. For the first time in 20 years, something like this magnitude of a project 
where Aboriginal community members have felt really excited and very proud about seeing their art on the peninsula. And so I'm really excited about the collaboration between NBN and the Mornington Peninsula Shire. And this goes to starting to heal our community, you know, the Aboriginal community. It's really important that there's cultural pride and it's represented on the Mornington Peninsula for the first time.